right, let's get into our first major discussion for the day now. The PDP convention has come and gone, but not without some drama. A lot of drama indeed. Now, the chairmanship position was keenly contested by aspirants uh, from the South South and the South West. Uche Sekondo's uh, former acting chairman of the party has since been declared the new national chairman. Yeah, but the debacle of a, a show put up by aspirants from the South West still lingers. Now, seven aspirants from the region contested the election, each refusing to step down for the other. And the South West zone hailed or failed to present a unified front, a decision many say cost them a shot at the chairmanship seat just until the, the stepping down took place just a few hours no. to the commencement of the convention. Time for experimentation. This is no time for testing trials. If anybody has never been able to manage the platform of this party, it will be inglorious on our part to put that as the chief executive of the party. At the convention ground, just few hours to commence voting, Chief Olabode George dramatically announced his withdrawal uh, from the race, perhaps only after seeing the clear handwriting on the wall. The People's Democratic Party has now mangled and distorted its spirit. There's no morality here anymore. There's no sanity of, or any sense of enlightened civility. As a result of these observed aberrations, wherein the positions of the national chairman has been apparently sold and auctioned to the highest bidder. I am an Omoluabi of Yoruba land, and I will not take part in this charade. I hereby withdraw this, from this brazen fraud an absolutely preconceived, monetized, mercantilist convention. The Yoruba people have been openly maligned. The Yoruba people have been savaged, tormented, treated with contempt. The governor of River State, Mr. Wike, must, as a matter of priority and ethical importance, tender an unreserved apology to the good people of Yoruba land. I did not and I will not step down for anybody. What I am stepping down for are the wrongs. All right, uh, Bode George there using all kinds of adjectives to describe the, the, situation. Uh, the situation, what happened uh, December 9. No morality, no civility anymore in the party, according to him. Well, we have in the studio a member of the People's Democratic Party, Deji Doherty, uh, is former organizing secretary of the PDP. We need to emphasize that. Yeah. Uh, good morning. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. <laughs> nice to have you, John. Good morning. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yes. Okay, now these adjectives that uh, Olabode George has used to describe what went on on December 9, is it sour grapes or is it a statement of fact? Well, um, thank you very much. Um, I've been in the PDP for close to 17 and a half or 18 years. Mm. And um, I believe that um, there are traditions in the PDP. Chief Olabadi George is my leader in Lagos State. But I beg to totally disagree with him. Okay. Because they fashioned out the procedure and the template that is being used. Look, PDP is evolving. Democracy is evolving. Mm -hmm. I started politics at the age of 36. I was born in 1962. We had people that were governors and presidents. Those people are still in the scene today. This is a disservice to a generation. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Now, Chief Olapodi George has come out to become national chairman, which is good. He's, as a matter of fact, he's probably the best experienced out of all the lot. Mm -hmm. You understand? But if Chief Olapodi George is a national chairman, who is going to sit as the father of all in the Southwest in PDP? That's a question that they've not asked. I think the problem is this. PDP has evolved politically 
to a party that is ready to change that narrative. And that is to move from the old order to the new order. Mm. The gentlemen that are calling the shots, really, are these 11 governors. Okay. They are the ones financing the party. For good? For good. Mm. You understand? They are the ones financing the party. They are the ones that are putting their money where their mouths are. You understand? And I believe that what Chief Body George is doing is now bringing the Yoruba ethnic group into politics, which is totally unacceptable. Mm. All right. Now, the, the Southwest said that uh, they should be allowed to produce the chairman of the party. Yes. Not necessarily, it's, it's not necessarily about uh, Body George at this time, but yeah. the Southwest, because there were about seven candidates from the South. Thank South you South. very much. Yeah. God bless you. Was, mm. that, was that a strategic way of uh, drawing attention to the Southwest, or was it a strategic mistake? Listen, the Southwest is entitled to be the um, first receivers of the national chairman. Why the entitlement? Mm. Now, the entitlement is this. Once there is a zoning formula, mm. right, and it is the party that tries to zone, just to bring about stability. It's not enshrined in the constitution of the party. You mm. understand? The zoning comes like this. North is taking the presidency. The South will take the national chairman, which are the topmost positions. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now, micro zoning is done within the South at the choice of the leaders in the south okay. that's where the micro zone th there is nothing like micro zoning so is that what has happened understand? in this case so in this case what was allowed what was proposed was that southwest you take it but in the southwest they had many um, um contestants mm -hmm. do you understand now you contestants come together and i think it is a problem even with we yorubas you understand? We've gone through different, um, um, different um, um, governments right from 1998, yeah. okay, up to date. And we have not gotten anything in terms of development in this country. You understand? Mm -hmm. Even with Obasanjo, we did not get. With um, um, Yaradua, we did not get. With Jonathan, we did not get. With um, um, Buhari now, we are not getting. Okay. The only thing that is okay with Buhari, which is better, which I support, is the giving of the housing ministry, the um, works ministry, mm -hmm. and um, a power ministry to a Yoruba man. So one way or another, we're all playing, let me, when I say we, Nigerian democracy, Nigeria's politics has... Um, evolved because you, you use the word uh, PDP is evolving, democracy is evolving, and I was going to jump in to ask, evolving in what direction? I, if you look at 1998 when the PDP came on board, uh, it, it might be unfair to say that the PDP was a sectional party. But right now, it looks like more and more all the political parties across board are tilting towards ethnic politics. And how is that doing Nigeria any good? Well, <clears throat> I'll say this. Um, PDP is more or less like the front runner. What has happened in PDP is that in the, in the, in the creation of the party, mm -hmm. it was ethnic based and it had to show the federal coloration. So right from the root of PDP, mm -hmm. we have all um, 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 recognized that there are 250 plus ethnic groups in Nigeria, and everybody has to come on board. So for PDP, we're not playing the politics of ethnic or mm. ethnic ethnicity. Yeah. You understand? We are playing the politics of balance and futuristic. Mm. You understand? In the futuristic sense, if you look at the Southwest, they don't have any young man, apart from Benga Daniel and probably Jimmy Agbaje. Jimmy Agbaje has is a new member into the party. Mm -hmm. he, he really doesn't know the intrigues of the party. A new so, member, but a fresh face. 
because you well, made a statement earlier. He could be a fresh face, but you, you talked about you know how I mean when you were born, you know early sixties and all of that, yes. and that it is unfair that people like Buddy George still want to call the shots. Yes. So are you saying, in other words, or in essence, that PDP needs fresh blood, and the way it, with, with what has happened now, that doesn't seem to be the case. No, with what has happened now, Sokendo still falls within the young the young people okay. of the PDP, a, a different generation. Benga Daniel falls into that. Jimmy Agbaje falls into that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Not like I'm supporting... I voted... If Body Judge ran, I would have voted for Body Judge. Not because I want or I am an advocate of him becoming a, a chairman. No, because but you're from the Southwest. Because he's from the Southwest. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, he's a legotion. I will not go and vote, do you understand, and vote for someone else when my own son or my own father is contesting, whether right or wrong, you understand? But mm. the, the, the essence is this. PDP is looking at the future. PDP, there is a generational change, that a fundamental generational change that has occurred in the PDP today. Forget money. Money is politics. Politics is money. If look at Obama, look yeah. at Clinton, Obama's first coming, they were they were always following the money. Hmm. You understand? When Clinton was there, now um, the, the other guy that ran against Bernie Sanders or whatever, yeah. Bernie Sanders. you understand? Bernie Sanders. He was more popular than Clinton, mm -hmm. but Clinton had more money than he he did. You understand? So these are the intrigues of politics. I have run for governor. Chief Body Judge also was the one that coordinated the emergence of governors. Mm. Money was, was, was the key thing. It got to a stage I had to more or less say, look, I can't go past this budget. For mm -hmm. me personally, because this is my own personal money. All right. Now, you, you, you said earlier on that uh, the Southwest has not really benefited from governance since... Uh, the, the, the 98. Since 1998, mm -hmm. in fact, from Olusogun Obasanjo yeah. to you, uh, and so on. Yeah. Now, if the Southwest has not benefited, is there any part of this country that has benefited really in terms of when it comes to we have benefited? Apart from question. our son is the president or our son is the my brother, minister of this? My brother, hmm. the North is still the one that benefits the most. What, what are they ah. benefiting? What is there? How? My brother, all you need to do is leave Lagos. Okay. Go through Oyo State. Go through Ibado, Fiditi, Ogbomosho, into, uh, uh, into, into uh, Shaki, then go into the north. You see a total change in terms of roads. Mm. Do you understand? A total change in terms of roads. A total, if you look at all the budgets of Nigeria since 1998, you will see that the North has always been the beneficiary of a whole chunk. In the Southwest, what have we achieved? What have we got? But, but, these are, but, but people from these regions have also said they, have, they are not benefiting mm -hmm. anything. If you go to the Southwest, it's, it's, so Southeast is the same thing. Marginalization. You go to South South, it's the, the same, same word. Is North used. Central is the, the same, same word. The issue of roads you're talking about, I think yeah. when in the North, the, the 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 worst roads in the in the north is in this is, is concentrated in the in the north central let, if you travel me, all those places they, they also complain of the same thing so who is really benefiting from the government <clears throat> you are making you see the problem of nigeria is more or less like an octopus mm. Mm. there's With ethnic, many tentacles there's political mm. there's social there's economical there's security these are all problems that nigeria Carries. Is it not because yes. we, we continue to play ethnic politics? I don't um, think so. so. Some people have said that the PDP has actually gambled away the Southwest mm. in the chairmanship position through micro zoning. How will this play out going forward, especially 2019? PDP has been saying we've got our eye on the ball and it is 2019. L listen, you see, l like I, I had a few people talk on TV today on your channel yeah. talking about um, now the. Um, position of vice president and things like that. For me, you understand, the position of the president of the Senate is vital. 
the position of the Secretary to the federal government is vital. Mm -hmm. The Southwest should just bargain to take that and also take it. The DG of the presidential campaign. Let me give you an example. Secondos is there now. Mm -hmm. Do you know in six months' time, they are going to have the presidential primaries? Once the presidential primaries occur and the president emerges, right? Yeah. The whole project of PDP moves to Legacy House. Legacy House is where our campaign headquarters is. You understand? And that means the DG of the campaign now controls the whole finances of the party. So my question is, so, come 2019, what yeah. will be the fortunes of the PDP when uh, you have the chairmanship uh, going to the south-south? Yes. Uh, and the president, and going, the president to the north. going to the north. Let me give you some statistics. Yes. The statistics is this. First of all, okay, mm -hmm. there's always pros and cons to any decision that is made. You understand? However, the north will be divided because we will have a northern presidential candidate, mm -hmm. which is where the APC ran us out. We have the south, south, southeast. That's solidified by Sokundus being there. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Now, in the southwest, the the, 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 once it is agreed that either we are vice president or we are president of the Senate, do you understand? That will give us a base to walk through. Because in the southwest, how many PDP members are there? And do you know that the majority of people that even vote for PDP, mm -hmm. okay, uh, maybe 20 times the number of the members we have in PDP in the Southwest. Mm. Okay. And, that, and that, is the, that, is the, that is the game. So in okay. other, words the, game in other words, the Southwest we... might not be a factor? The, no, the, the Southwest will always deliver its votes. Go okay. and look at the votes. Okay. okay. The Southwest will always deliver All right. its votes. So it, it means there'll be, there'll be a determinant factor to a great extent or very influential factor. All right, we have to leave you here now. Digi Dorothy, former acting vice chairman of the PDP yeah. Southwest and former organizing secretary of the party as well. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right.